So let's take a trip along the rail trail with Kareem El-Gamal and Michael Caceres. Kareem, let me go first things first here to make it very clear to the viewers. At the rail trail, you do not serve pizza. You serve something else. Explain exactly what your specialty is. All right. Is. If you came over and, you know, you saw our oven right there open, you're going to see these pies coming out, and you can call it pizza. Okay. But if you call it pizza, I'm going to have to use the F word, and that's flatbread. Okay. <laughs> it's so, a flatbread. Uh, yeah. All the, right. The reason uh, we call it flatbread is, you know, when we were building this place, we did a lot of research. We ate a lot of pizzas. We went to the Vegas to the Pizza Expo. And we're sitting with these guys making pizzas, and, man, there's a lot of kinds of pizzas sure. out there. I mean, there's, you know, Sicilian, deep dish, Ch uh, Chicago-style, Greek, uh, New York, Neapolitan. You got, them, you got them all. So as we got into it, we had a lot of respect for the, each kind of recipe and way that they're making it, and, and we realized what we're making is a little different. We're using a lot of, like... American ingredients, you know, we're grilling corn and putting it on our flatbreads, we're pulling pork and making in beer braised barbecue sauce. Right. And so it's a little different. It definitely is different. So, Michael, explain to me that difference because the even just the process, the oven, the whole thing, what is it start to finish? Absolutely. Well, it starts off with our signature gold rush dough. It's a sour dough. Yep. And uh, we're really proud of it. We got a specimen that a friend of ours had been collecting and passed down from baker to baker to baker. He was up in Vermont. It's over 150 years old, and uh, he sent it down to us. And it's uh, when we're building the place, it was what we went into our uh, dough base for our signature sourdough. And it gives it a nice tang. Uh, it lets us cook our dough at a little bit lower of a temperature than the typical brick oven, right. wood-fired pizza. And the oven itself, I mean, what, what is that? Yeah, we built it ourselves. We had a couple friends from uh, upstate uh, New York come down and help us out. And it's a 14-ton brick and steel clay oven that uh, is our, it's our horse and yeah. we just uh, we definitely throw everything in it to give it a nice smoky rich flavor it's like our signature absolutely you know you talk about those smoky and the rich flavors and i think a good example of that is one of your most popular pies which is the hawaiian flatbread again not pizza f word flatbread That's so right. the hawaiian tell me about that one yeah we're uh we love to vacation we're we're not the surfer types, probably would be the guys hanging out at the luau. So <laughs> right. that's kind of the inspiration there. Chef Tom, he starts off with a really nice uh, piece of pork, and we slow roast it in our oven, almost gets a smoke, and we coat it in our own barbecue sauce, which he takes him almost two days to make. He takes a big drum, gallons of brown ale to start it off as a base, tomatoes, molasses, brown sugar, and it, it goes into the pork and it gets pulled with some fire roasted pineapples and our three cheese blend, and people come in and no matter what we change, they come back to the Hawaiian. Yeah, I get it, and it's one of those pizzas that's Surf's so up. good, so good with a cold <laughs> beer too, as all your places are, excuse me, flatbreads, of course. Now, Kareem, when I'm going out for pizza or flatbread, 99 out of 100 times, I'm getting some kind of a meat topping, you know, sausage, pepperoni, so on. The, the one exception might be what you call a farmer's market flatbread, because this is like a veggie pizza times 10, right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Like a lot of people who like meaty, generally like meaty pizzas and flatbreads, they love this flatbread. It is chock full of vegetables. And I think what makes it really almost meaty in its own way is some of the toppings we put on there. We put artichokes, which are roasted in the oven. I mean, all the vegetables are roasted in the right. oven. We put zucchinis in there. We put broccoli. We, we sprinkle like uh, Kalamata olives from Greece. You get a really nice blend of flavors coming together, and, and, and I mean, it fills you up. I'll yeah, tell you. it definitely does. I mean, a lot of your food is filling, and the thing is, not just the flatbreads. You, you have a big menu for a restaurant that has, you know, an oven that big that you know you're dedicating to making flatbreads. You make a lot of interesting stuff, including the, this appetizer, which I love. I'm a bit obsessed with this thing. It's a, it's a stuffed banana pepper. Now, this thing is awesome. Yeah. Well, we, uh, we like to change our menu up every three to four months, but this is something that kind of happens serendipitously, and we just kept it on ever since. Chef Tom and I were arguing about doing a chili stuff, chili relleno or a Greek style stuffed pepper, and we had some banana peppers. You know, feta found its way in there. I don't know how, <laughs> but we have it's a stuffed with a bunch of cheeses, and one of them's feta, and it's a marinara sauce we make in house. It gets on a crostini, and people try it. They're like, "What is this stuffed pepper?" And then they come back and back and back. They they, they just love it. It's a, one of our signature apps, and it was funny that it came out of a mistake. So. Absolutely, it doesn't surprise me that all the people come back a lot because, as you said, the menu changes a lot the beer list changes a lot i mean it's the kind of place you got to go back to several times it is the rail trail everybody 33 main street in hudson massachusetts check out their website it's railtrailflatbread.com